What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and uh, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be going into the snake room. Pablo is on vacation for two days. He'll be back on Friday. I'll be going into the snake room. I'm gonna be taking a look at a my Phantom and Blizzard boa litter, showing you some of the spectacular ones that I'm in love with. And uh, there's Logan, there's my son, Logan Palumbo, and he's home from school. Hopefully staying out of I trouble. Came home five minutes yes, you're my assistant. You're my assistant. No, today. I came home five minutes ago. Okay, all right. And so Logan's gonna be helping me because I can't run around so much. He's gonna be helping me with the water. And he has a bad foot. That's right. You're gonna be helping and fill incubators. Wednesday. And, and today's Wednesday. today is Wednesday. That's true. And Daddy got. He, he said it was Tuesday when it was Wednesday. I thought it was Tuesday when we recorded earlier. But thank you, Logan, for that correction. Okay. It's good to have a son that will correct you for the rest of your life now, right? Anyway, we're going to go in it. And I, to be honest with you, I have to look through all the ball python tubs because myself, uh, even though I'm a little handicapped, the, because we got to see if there's any eggs, right? What do we do if there's eggs? We, um, we, we have to turn off the light and then daddy, have, and daddy turns on the light. <laughs> we candle them, right? And, yeah. and, and, and then I have to count how many. That's right. That's right. Now, uh, and we had 12 before and, and we had, um, 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 when, when, when the other snake had it, it was all slugs. Yeah, we had a couple slug litters, but we did have some good ones we too. Had, we had a lot of slugs. We actually have a, a clutch in the incubator that's currently hatching right now. Mm -hmm. And but what we I, all I see is a white snake, which is crazy because everything has to be clown. So I think it's a super lesser clown, but we'll, we'll keep you updated on that toward the end of the week. For now, we're going to go in, take a look, see what's going on. And uh, you never know what we might find. <laughs> Of course, Pablo took a little trip. He's not going to be here for a couple days. I am on my scooter, and we have a clutch of eggs. It's okay. I'll pull them. This is a micro scale female. So this is uh, she's missing scales on her head. She's got the little mini mini scales on her body. Both the micro scale, the super micro scale form of, of this snake is a scaleless animal, and she's sitting on eggs. And we bred her to a beautiful micro scale clown. So everything will be head clown. We will have 25% scaleless animals. We will have 50%, or I should say 50 at yeah, 50% will be micro scales. And 25% will be normal head clowns. So can't go wrong with this litter. Or this clutch, I should say. And she looks like she's on a few good eggs. So. It's great. She produced a really nice scaleless animal that was head clown, the female that we're growing up. I would love if she would do produce a male for me. I'm a little male shy on the scaleless animals. Let's pull her. Let's see what we got here. I can't get too fancy today because I'm limited in my ability to move around. But we're going to clean her up and uh, get those eggs out. All right, so I have to use all the resources I can given my situation and uh, I wanted to show you the parents so here's a, the female who just gave birth and she's nice and look at how hollowed out she is look at that looks like someone created a little pocket there she just gave birth to a lot of eggs we're gonna look at this is the micro scale clown male you can see he's missing scales on his head and he has these little beady little mini scales and that's why they call the micro scale my theory is still that the scaleless aspect and the micro scale are separatable meaning that they don't come together, but I don't know, that, that remains to be seen. That's a future experiment. Uh, we've talked about that before in earlier videos. He is gorgeous. I love, this is one of my favorite animals because he looks like he's 3D. The micro scale really gives the snake a much more vibrant um, pattern and it gives it more contrast and that's what we want in snakes, right? So this boy did a good job. He's been a father a couple times over now for me. We're gonna put him back. He ate yesterday, so we're gonna let him digest. And we're gonna put this beautiful girl who did very well, we're gonna put her back too and let her relax. You can see she's also micro scale. You can see the little beaded scales. And you can see how the, she's I mean, technically a normal, but you can see it just doesn't look normal. You can see the way the light catches it. It's just really high definition. And she's an adult too, so. If this is a project you're interested in getting into, I still have some babies from I think last year. And obviously, we're going to have some eggs here catching 60 days if you want to get some scale stuff. All heck clown. All right. What a clutch this was. It was only one clutch today, but man, did we do really well here. Three, six, 
nine, ten beautiful eggs. They all have vessels and embryo. Wow, this was a really spectacular clutch. These eggs are kind of small. They're on the smaller side, but we got a lot of them. So I think that that might almost be better. Uh, they all look pretty healthy. This uh, girl did great. I, I can't be happier. We're definitely, you know, odds are we're going to get at least two scaleless um, het clowns, which would be great. We're going to probably get a lot of micro scale het clown stuff. So this is uh, definitely, if you want to try to produce super micro scale clowns, this is definitely the the clutch to get it involved in. Get a pair here. I mean, if you just get a pair of micro scale head clowns and breed those together, man, you're gonna you're gonna do really well. I still have yet to produce the super micro scale clown, but it, it the, the possibility is getting a lot closer now. Hi. Logan's here with me hi, hi. in the snake room, and we're looking at some spectacular hi, hi. boas. I'm you should not be climbing. Okay. All right, here is a male hypo phantom. Possible super hypo. I think it's a male a hypo phantom. He's also really good. He's actually lighter than she is. And once again, I'm not disturbing these guys too much. He did eat. He did eat yesterday when Pablo fed him, so all good on that. Once again, you can see those beautiful black eyes from the black eyed annery. Look at that. Look at that beautiful black eye. Oh my god, these are so precious, these things. They're so, so nice. Look at that color, the purples are just incredible. Here's a male, what I believe to be Hypo Phantom. Really, really, showing a lot more pattern than the other ones because the Hypo gene removes the pattern and lightens them up even more. This might not even be a Hypo. It's uh, questionable. It's got a lot of pattern, but it has those beautiful, beautiful purples too. All right, here's another one other Hypo Phantom, even a possible super hypo. This is in the female. Really, really look really nice. Very light, very light pattern. Um, so I would probably call this a hypo phantom. Once again, paradigm, black eyed annery. So it's kind of like a snow with the black eyed annery gene and then hypo. So it's a kind of like a moon glow, really, with the using the black eyed annery gene instead of the annery one gene. Here's a beautiful blizzard, or what I would think is a super hypo blizzard. So that's a sharp albino, black eyed annery, super hypo. Because this thing has no pattern. This will stay white, as I mentioned previously. This will stay white uh, its whole life. I mean, you can see this is snow white. It will not get any yellowing in it because of that black eyed annery gene. It also removes yellows as well. It's also an azanthic gene. One of my favorite uh, babies of the litter. I'm gonna show you his sister. Here's his, here's his perfect little sister. She is even whiter than he is, I, I, I dare I say. She's pinkish, she's so white. She's perfect, two perfect eyes, little pink tongue. She has absolutely no pattern on her whatsoever. She is a sharp albino, black eyed annery, super hypo. Once again, if you guys know what a moon glow is, she's like a super moon glow. But using the black eyed energy gene, we call it a blizzard or super, super hypo blizzard. Gorgeous. Oof, this is my cover shot right here. She is so beautiful. Now here is a smoking, smoking, smoking paradigm. I'm pretty sure it's a paradigm. I don't, I don't think it's a sharp albino, though it does have red eyes. Could be sharp albino, 100% het RDR, black eyed anery. So this is a het. Could be hypo or super hypo. This could be a, it's very brown. That's why I'm wondering, but if it's super hypo, that could definitely cause the eyes to become red. So if this is a paradigm that's super hypo, it could get red eyes and then it's it's het for RDR. That's what I think it is. This is, om, this is almost nicer than the visuals that we hit, I have to tell you, just because of the crazy, crazy looking pattern that this thing has. And I know a few people have asked me about this snake, including Pablo. Beautiful, beautiful little girl here. Wow, look at that striped tail. Just so much going on, so much contrast in here. This litter really came out nice. I'm not gonna show you everything today. I'll keep a couple to hold to show you maybe next time, but really beautiful, beautiful litter. Once again, it was a super hypo blizzard that was bred to a 
paradigm that turned out to be 100% head for RDR. And she was hypo as well, so she was a power glow actually, head RDR. Yeah, I think this is a paradigm that's just super hypo. That's, that's my call on this one. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. We, uh, Logan and I had a good time in the snake room. We took some good video of the blizzard stuff, and we took some good video of the uh, phantoms, and even the het was amazing, right? Like, that guy is spectacular. I know someone's going to try to get that off of me. I think Pablo wants him, but we'll see. First, first dibs. Yeah, yeah, Pablo's gone, so maybe someone else will buy him in the meantime. Uh, we. I don't know. We got that great uh, ball python clutch, so we should be producing some cool, cool, hopefully super micro scale head clowns. And we, like I said, we have probably the next day or two, I'm going to show you the clutch that's hatching in the incubator. For now, we are out of time. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Hit that like button. We'll see you back tomorrow morning. <laughs> Is that it? You want to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love kids. See you next time.